Whoa. That's what she said. Oh my goodness. 10 minute walk, but backward. So, as you'll probably be aware, my knees are well dodgy. One of them is a DC reconstruction, and now it feels as if the nail is coming out. The screw, I mean, you can catch the previous Pre Dad Shred episodes, and you will find out what's going on with that. We're waiting to hear. We're going to need more stuff done. <clears throat> then my other knee. During my marathon training, got all you know messed up and sore at the top. And ever since starting to leg press and stuff again, it just got worse. So I'm thinking I need to get my knees sorted out. So I started watching News of Toes guy, and he says to do this for ten minutes. It's been eight, but. Obviously, I'm not going to go outside and just walk backwards indefinitely because if I'd done that, I'd probably get knocked down or stabbed by the youth of here. What do you think, Joe? Yeah. Probably get stabbed by the youth of here or something if I just walked Stephen backwards. Dog food, well. Yeah, probably definitely Stephen dog food. So I found the longest part of my house that I can walk backwards in without the sub and Joe, and that's what we've been doing. Backwards. My God, good size of your belly. Good size of your belly. Whoa. Bigger I'm preggles. Heavily pregnant. Heavy pregnant. Heavy pregnant. I've got stretch marks and everything now. 34 weeks, man. That means three weeks until we could be parents. That's absolutely bonkers. 34 weeks and I've got stretch marks now. It's taken 34 weeks to get stretch marks. And I'm freaking out. So I'm rubbing myself up all the time with some uh, shea butter and stuff. So I'm taking vitamins and I'm taking collagen as well. So hopefully it'll do something. I just don't, I don't you know, it is what it is. Like it, it is what it is. But I don't want them to get, I don't want really bad ones, you know. Like I don't want humongous ones because... I want to get shredded after this. <laughs> Just like Luke. Anyway, I'm going to make my dinner, so I'm going to put you back and stop spinning around. Look at that, so go. Then 25 tibialis raises. This does not directly strengthen the knee. It strengthens this muscle that goes from below the knee to the inside of the foot. That gets weaker when we stop slamming force into the knee. So bolstering it gives us a better chance to heal and return to activities without being as vulnerable. I can lean against. So we're doing the tibialis stretch exercise thing. Basically, what we want to do is go up onto our heels, and tensing this muscle that you uses when we land. Also, the amount of my feet flick spread out since going barefoot every day in the house is mad. I'd show you, but it's behind a paywall. Next up, we're doing something where you just stand on and then touch, which doesn't look too hard. So we've got 20 kilos, pop it down, a few inches wide, deep. <laughs> so the idea is to stand. Feel it out like this, and then just down until it touches. I don't know if I'm doing it wrong, but it is mega easy. So let's see how it feels with my dodgy knee that clicks. So I imagine it'll be hard to this way. Right, here's the angle you can probably see quite a lot of. How I'm moving. You can tell me if I'm wrong or not. Forward. Down. And up. Down, push back. Ooh. Ho, ho, ho. I got funky. Feel it click and pop. Pink? Good, you're not even.
Right, he says raise a heel, so let's see if that makes it any easier or harder. Oh, go. Feels much worse on my knee. So, anyway, on my good knee, I go down. Feels alright. Although it feels kind of like I feel burning here. I've got that recently, like as if my knees are just pure podgy. I don't know, maybe it's muscular. But on my bad knee, it's a bit kind of. As you can hear, it cracks. And after a couple of these, it was a bit, a bit dodgy. Although, no, sorry, right just now. But, oh, no, that's it. I start to feel it now. It's as if the fluid starts like getting down and in here. It's a weird, disgusting feeling. But anyway, I have kind of knee updates anyway. This is obviously a good position to have my knee update on. Although I wish you were a bit higher so I could see you. This feels a bit, a bit sus. So then I'm also on the toilet. Lids down though, lids down. I don't know. This will do. There's a way to show what I mean. Ugh. So, bad knee, good knee. This knee has started getting pain in the vent here a bit. Well, it's had that for a little while, but I get it when I'm walking and stuff. This knee, the bad knee, this one gets pain now in here quite often, like most of the time. And also here, which is weird. It's like, it's almost as if I don't know, it's just at the top of my shin bone, I'm also getting pain. So on this leg, I'm getting pain here, often, like kind of swelling pain. And then sometimes I get these weird feelings of like here and here, as if it's like a change in temperature. The best way to describe it would be as if there was liquid running down, which is weird. But also, I'm starting to now get pain at the top of my shin, specifically here. And then I also get a discomfort a little bit around the screw. And I've been getting that now for for a little while. I have another week until the doctor calls to see what material my knee's made out of. But until then, I'm just mega para to do any running or literally even 20 minutes of walking and it hurts. Like just today, just from the little standing up I've done today, which was an hour after work, six to seven, my shin hurt. So. We'll see how we go on. Maybe you just come a swimmer. So I don't know what it is, but I'm all sore today, as if I'd done a workout yesterday. Specifically, my calves, my hamstrings, my abs, and even like the soles of my feet. So, just shows you how much leg days I skipped.